hello guys and welcome back to my channel so this is a Beatles review I'm gonna be reviewing their liner brushes so the directions to remove the wax layer off the bristles is fillable with clean monomer soak the bristles in the fluid to remove the wax layer and then wipe it off in a paper towel these brushes are used for drawing lines painting flowers fine drawing pattern design on the tips basically anything with drawing and then to clean your brush always always make sure you always clean it before you store it when you wash it after each use let it air dry and do not blow dry and then you put the little cap back on and store them for the next time okie dokie let's open up this package and see what we're working with so in this set come five different liner brushes in different sizes and I love that they are different colors because I had an old set that they were all the same color so when I wanted to find one specific brush I would have to open all of them but these are all color coded in different colors you see the Beatles brand is printed in the center of these brushes and as you can see the bottom end has beautiful different colored diamonds and then the top has the cap and which that is awesome too that it has a cap so the brush bristles won't get damaged quickly and here is the first one which is the little tiny one this one is 5 mm the next one here is 7 mm this golden one is 9 mm this cayenne like teal light teal is size 11 mm And the last one in this set, the black one, is 20 mm. So now let's put these brushes to the test. Here is a side-by-side -side view of all the brushes all together so you can see all the different sizes. These brushes are for gel polish, but I did put it to the test to try it with acrylic paints since that is what I paint mostly with. So let's do like the packaging say, clean it with some marmer. So I'm dipping each and one of the brushes in the monomer liquid to remove that wax layer it has. Okay, so the first brush I'm going to put to the test is the black one, and this one is the 20mm. So for this brush, I'm going to do a design of zebra stripes, which this brush is suitable for doing the longest and finest lines. As you can see from that first stripe, the end comes out super sharp and pointy, and that's what I love for zebra stripes. And I am using white gel polish to do the zebra stripes to try it out, and then I will try out the acrylic paints for another design. I always had a hard time doing zebra stripes until I watched a video from Robin Moses. She is one of my favorite YouTubers to watch on YouTube. Obviously YouTube. So yeah, she's one of my favorite persons on YouTube for nail art, for hand-drawn, hand-painted nail art. She's a really good artist. So if you guys are interested in her channel, I'll link it down below. So basically what I learned from her is that she did like the stripes on one side of the nail and then on the opposite side of the nail they come meet at the middle not touching and then for the third stripe she will do it either like a thick triangle filled in or like an open triangle so yeah she basically went like into that pattern until she completed the whole nail so that is what I'm gonna do here to the whole nail And here is the finished look using the 20 mm brush size so I'm gonna go pop this into the lamp because I did use gel polish so for the next nail I'm gonna be using the light blue brush which this one is size 11 mm and this one is suitable for like delicate and medium long lines so as you can see I'm trying to do some scrolls and some like fligery design I think that's how it's called I am using the white gel polish as well and as you can see it's going pretty well I always have a hard time doing scrolls 
it never comes out perfect for me but this brush is helping me do them very good so I'm gonna go ahead and fill the whole nail with some scroll design Here is the finished look using 11mm. It came out really nice. So the next brush I'll be using is the golden one and this one is size 9mm. And this one is a little similar to 11mm but for this design I'm going to try using acrylic paints. So I'm going to be draw drawing some roses on this nail. So first I start off with the rose bud. So I'm using like a darker shade of red. I just mix it with a little bit of brown. So I'm going to let that base dry and then I will come back and do the petals. So after it dries, I go in with a brighter shade of red and begin to draw the petals. And to draw like the petals, you just do like C shapes. I learned that from Robert Moses too. So yeah, you do like open C shapes around the center one and you just continue doing that all around. Thank you. 
And with some a green and white acrylic paint, I draw a little bit of leaves here and there on some of the roses. So I want to add some white polka dots to this nail so I'm gonna see if this brush could help me make some polka dots and BAM it does so it does help you make some polka dots so I'm gonna go ahead and fill the whole nail with polka dots <laughs> Here is the finished look using 9mm. So the next brush I'll be testing out is 7mm and this one is like good for drawing some thin and short lines like leaf petals or geometric patterns. So I decided to go ahead and try to draw some daisies. So I'm going to go ahead and start drawing the petals first. So to do the petals like on daisy or flower patterns, I push and then drag to the center. Thank you, Robin Moses. I'm telling you guys, you should really like watch her channel. She gives a lot of good hints and tips, how to do stuff. I learned so much from her. So yeah, that is what I'm doing to the petals to create the flower. Just dab, drag, dab, and then drag. Like you push, and then you drag to the center. Push, and then you drag to the center. That's how you do like little petals for flowers or leaves. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this to the rest of the nail. So after I do the flowers, I do let it dry and then I go in with yellow acrylic paint and do like centers in yellow. So the next brush I'll be testing out is the last one which is 5mm. I really don't really use this brush size that much but hey I'm gonna test it out. So on this nail it has like a glittery background so I wanted to do like a galaxy effect. So I use watered down white acrylic paint and I'm just like 
brushing it onto the nail no specific pattern I'm just dabbing it there as you can see it doesn't stick that much because it has water but that's okay because that's what I want like a washed out effect so I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing that to the whole nail before I draw like the stars and moons Before I start doing the nail art, I'm just going to use a lint-free wipe here to absorb some of that excess water on top of the nail. So after the background is dry, I'm going to go ahead and start drawing some stars and moons. So to draw a star is pretty much just like the big capital letter A and that's pretty much it I learned that from Robin thank you Robin and then I'm gonna go ahead and draw some bananas and then some other type of stars now this yeah. brush size is good for drawing like little short and thick lines so that is what I'm doing here <laughs> Here's another type of star that you can start out with is push and dragging. You start from the center and you push and drag up, down, left and right and that's pretty much it for that star. So I'm going to go ahead and continue finishing up this design. <laughs> So I wanted to see if this brush could do like little polka dots and it does do little polka dots too. So this brush will be good for doing dots as well. And here is the finished look. Now I'm going to go top coat all of them. So here is a final look at all of the nails using the brushes. This is 20 mm, the black brush. This is 11 mm, this is the light blue brush. This is 9 mm, this is the gold one. This is the blue brush, which is 7 mm. And there goes the center little yellow dots, like I told you guys. And then the last one is the pink, and this is the 5 mm so if you guys are interested in this brush set from beetles i will link it down below here are all the designs i created with the brush set and you could use these brushes with gel polish and acrylic paints like i showed you guys in this video so i will see you guys in the next one i hope you guys enjoyed this video bye